University yes. uh, UTHM. University yes. of Malaysia. Okay, the question is, what is your view on generative adversarial network, GAN and its application? So. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah, uh, um, that's uh, GANs are a new thing. It's 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 a, it's a kind of it's a, it's a way one of the ways to generate lots of data uh, for kind of um, for machine learning because uh, what it does is it, it, it create lots of data. So that's one way to do so. And then GANs are good um, for for those kind of purposes. Um, but again, I think. Even GANs are based on uh, on kind of you know the deep learning architecture, the framework. We 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 are using GANs at the moment to try and see whether we can. Um, uh, so that the uh, um, remember the the identical twin problem. Uh, if you had two identical twins, by the way, our algorithm will fail. If you had two identical twins, and then if you can't send it, our algorithm will fail. There's no algorithm that I know of. If you have two D images of identical twins. Uh, and say, can you identify these two people, so, you know, accurately? There's no algorithm in the world I know of that can do it in face recognition, by the way. So it's, that, that, so here's a challenge for you. If you can solve that problem, uh, I like to hear from you. You know, it's it's a very very hard problem. And at the moment, we are we are working on it, and we think that GANs might actually be helpful in this because what GANs are doing is it can generate a, a lot of kind of based on one image or one data point, you can generate lots of similar sort of image uh, data points. So one one idea that we have is if, if you want to kind of use, uh, if, if you want to do um, identical twin recognition, you can probably utilize GANs to generate lots of uh, images, sub-images from each of those images, and then you can try and do some sort of recognition between those image pairs, and then there could be a way that deep under one of the layers, there might be some changes that can tell us um, the difference between these two images. Possibly, we don't know. So this is something that we are working on. So GANs are very good in kind of generating that kind of uh, work. And, and and I think it has got a lot of potential, especially for data augmentation, data generation. Remember, one of the things that I said uh, previously was that for deep learning, you need lots of data. So you can use GANs to generate lots of data. So if you want to train a face recognition system you can generate a billion faces easily using a GANs algorithm you know you just give in like i don't know 100 images of, um, of different faces and different ethnicities it can give you 1 billion faces different faces uh, these faces do not exist but they are faces that they look like faces they're, they're, they're good enough to do training so that i think one of the things that GANs are helping us to do or people to do is is that kind of work okay Thank you so much, Professor. I think that's all. Uh...